Hello amazing people. Today we'll learn how to link a paper-based application in a GC key account. So first of all, you need the URL of GC key account. Once you come on this page, there is an option where you can register for a new account or if you already have an account created, just try logging in. Once you have crossed all the security questions and basic agreement details, you will come to this page where you will see all of your applications, existing applications submitted and their status. Now, in order to link your new application, you have to look for this particular URL here. And after clicking this, you'll come to a page which says link an existing application to this account. Now. This is where the fun part starts. There are different programs which accept mail applications or you can say paper based applications. Now, in order to find your application, you need to know what category your application is. In this particular video, I'm taking an example of a home child care support worker. So we select category as permanent residence, subcategory as home child support, Let's see, here it is. Once you click that, you will come to the details of an applicant. Here you'll have to select what combination you wanna use to search a file. Now, if you are an applicant who filed an application to IRCC for the first time in your life, you have never applied a visitor visa or a work permit or anything, you should select application number and unique client identifier. If you are, or if you have applied for, let's say, Vista Visa or Work Permit passed, so you should be selecting application number and family name. This is important. Now, the example which I have, it's a first time applicant. So without any delay, I'm gonna input the details of application number and the UCI. Moving on, I'll have to select the passport. Here, the details should be exact. There should be no mistake in here. Then the employer address, or you can say the, the city and province where the applicant is gonna live. Now, this detail, you will find it on your IMM 0008 ENU form. This was a form used when you were filing for this application. So you should go there and see what details that you filled and then come on this page and fill up the details. Now, once all the details are available and filled, you can click search my application. It's going to search for your application in the system. It will say, here is the application. Click here to link. Now, since this application is already linked or associated in my account, you will not see uh, that option to link. Now, let's say it's already associated. So, yeah. Here, the important part is all the details in your application that you filled while submitting. Those details should match this page. For example, I have seen a number of issues where uh, the passport details were wrong in the forms but you know since you have your passport you try to copy it from there and it doesn't work so simply open up the forms open up the application forms that you filled while submitting an application and try to copy the data from there and try to fill it in this form once your data is correct definitely you will find your application if you have a representative on your application then you cannot link it yourself only a designated representative can link your application and can see the status. There have been a couple of instances where the applicants have requested to remove their representation and link it themselves. Well, this is possible, but I would seriously advise not to do that. Let me know your questions or queries in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I will come up with new videos in the future. Have a good day.